Okay, in my last video we exported this image as a PDF and it should be noted that if you're using an educational software from Vectorworks, uh, you can't open a PDF in Photoshop. So we need to do a couple of other or there's a couple other ways you can export that you will be able to up upload into Photoshop so that you can complete your paint elevation. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first step is to know exactly how tall your objects are that you want to um, export. So this one is it's a 12 foot wall, which means in a standard height in a 12, 12 inch equals 12 inch situation, this would be six inches tall as far as the drawing goes. So when I'm exporting this, I want to make sure that I use that scale um, in, in, in an image file because if I don't and then um, if I don't have the scale correct, then it won't be measurable by scenic painters who have to paint the work. Instead of exporting as a PDF, I'm going to export this as an image file. And you get some different options here. One thing to note, you want it to be a high resolution, so 300 is pretty good. If you have a lot of detail in your drawing, you probably want to bump that up even higher just so you have a really good resolution in there. And rather than all visible objects, you're going to create a marquee and then draw the marquee. And you want the marquee to encompass the drawing as cleanly as possible. So if I just go to this corner, I'm going to miss a bit of that cornice. But I want it to be that six inches tall. So as long as I'm in alignment with that bottom, I can make it a little bit wider here. And then in this print size, I want to make sure I change that height to six inches. That way I know it will be the correct scale and measurable when I take it over to Photoshop. So the width doesn't matter as long as the height is accurate. The width will um, come along with it as it's proportional to the height. Uh, then you can choose the format. And I'm going to choose Photoshop since I'm going to be taking it into a Photoshop file anyways. So I should be able to get a little bit better resolution with this as well. So if I choose Photoshop and then save. Save that as well. See Photoshop image. And now I can go into Photoshop here find that file. There it is. I've already done this once to make sure this is going to work. And I have now imported my image into Photoshop. Okay, from here we want to check the size in our file here just to make sure it imported correctly. And as you can see it is six inches high. And for a paint elevation, that's just a little bit small. So I would let, I want to change the image size so that I have a little bit more room to work with, a little bit more detail to be able to deal with this. So as long as I am changing the size proportionally to what the wall is, I can maintain its scale. So right now, technically speaking, it would be in half inch scale. If I change the height of this to 12, uh, because my resolution is pretty high at 300, I should be able to make this change without losing too much detail in the line work here. We'll try that out and see. And so now if I zoom in, the lines are still pretty clean, so I feel like that's going to work out pretty well for me. So I like that a little bit bigger to deal with and to be able to get more detail in the paint elevation itself. Uh, from here I like to give myself just a little bit of room around the outside. So I'm going to change my canvas size to something just a little bit bigger. Uh, set it so that it is going to put the image at the middle and the excess space is going to go all the way around and let's say 8 inches by 12.5. We don't need to add a lot of space. I just like to have a little bit of room to work around the outside. 
and then you can see that it didn't fill it with any uh, colors or pixels or anything out there and just so that I can cleanly see the edge of my wall the lines on my wall I'm going to take my color picker choose this color so every once in a while you'll get something that's not quite white you want it to be the same white background as what we have here and I'm going to use the paint bucket should be able to just click in that area and that fills out that space for me and now I have my basic line drawing and I can add color and paint treatments to this wall